Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to enable TPM 2.0 on Windows 10 for Windows 11. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to leave a like as well. And please make sure you watch the entire video so you don't miss any of the steps. Step 1. Check TPM status. To do that, come to the bottom left corner of your computer and search for something called PC Health Check. Now just click on it. It is available on every Windows 10 computer. If you haven't already installed it, it's going to quickly install. It's a really easy process, and it probably takes less than a minute or two. Once it's loaded, come up to the top where it says Introducing Windows 11 and click Check Now. It will check if your computer is eligible for Windows 11. If not, it will say This PC does not currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. TPM 2.0 must be supported and enabled on this PC. Step 2. Enable TPM. Now I'm going to show you how to enable TPM 2.0. Keep watching. It's a very simple process. Close the PC Health Check window. Go and launch your computer settings. Click on Start at the bottom left of your screen. Click on the Settings icon. Click on Update and Security. Click on Windows Security. Now, look on the left-hand side of the window. Click on Recovery. Look for the Advanced Startup and click Restart Now. On the new window, click on Troubleshoot. Click on Advanced Options. Click on UEFI Firmware Settings. Change settings in your PC's UEFI firmware. And finally, click on Restart to access the BIOS. Now you're on your motherboard. Use your arrow keys on your keyboard to move around if your mouse is not enabled. Look for the setting icon and click on it. Next, find the Security option and click on it. Look for Trusted Computing. Click on it. The next step is to find Security Device Support. This is where you are going to enable the TMP in your system. As you can see, it is disabled now. To enable it, click on Security Device Support and select Enable. Now save your changes by pressing Escape, click on Save and Exit, and then Save Changes and Reboot. Your PC will now reboot. Step 3. Verify TPM Status Now we will find out if TPM 2.0 is enabled and your PC meets Windows 11 requirements. So, sign into your PC and open the PC Health Check app again. To do that, go to the bottom left corner of your screen and type in PC Health Check. Click on the On the App to open it. After it open, click on Check Now button. Now it should say, This PC meets the Windows 11 requirements. There you have it. Just go and upgrade to Windows 11. But just keep in mind that when you come to the Windows Update settings, it may still say, this PC doesn't currently meet the requirements. Give it a little bit of time to refresh, hopefully in a few hours. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more helpful tech videos.